Dr. David Ajibade finds joy presenting to rooms filled with people, not to entertain them, but to deliver information that could save their lives. My main goal is to educate and help people see where what they're doing or not doing can be leading them towards the path of dementia. Dr. Ajibade specializes in brain disorders. He started his work in Nigeria where he noticed a rise in black people with Alzheimer's disease. Data also points to disproportionate impacts here in the states. According to the Alzheimer's Association, African Americans are affected by Alzheimer's disease and other dementia at twice the rate as white Americans. That statistic caught Dr. Ajibade's attention. I thought it, would, it was important for us to understand and see why this is so, so that we could help people in uh, impoverished communities or people who are mostly likely affected by it, especially uh, Af African Americans. It's tearing families apart, it's crippling communities. So Dr. Ajibade made it his mission to educate African Americans in senior centers and community forums all over Maryland. He helps break down the main risk factors that cause Alzheimer's to impact African Americans at a higher rate. One vascular vascular issues, we African Americans are more have, have, have it worse. Two, uh, ability to handle sugar or insulin resistance, we have it worse. And number three, vitamin D deficiency, we have it, we have it uh, worse again, and these all affect the brain. But Dr. Ajibade says there are preventative things people can do. He shares simple tips like improving sleep by wearing a sleep mask, exercising or going for walks daily to lower blood sugar levels, and monitoring your blood sugar and blood pressure, even if that means taking daily medication to keep it under control sharing important tips to start important conversations. What we're trying to do is to hopefully, one, remove that stigma, and two, help people recognize when things are going wrong. With the hopes of saving lives. It starts with every individual. You've got to take, know what it takes to take care of your brain health. The Alzheimer's Association also encourages more African Americans to participate in clinical trials to help diversify research on drug treatments. For more information on clinical trials and Alzheimer's prevention, you can visit our website. In Towson, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL-TV 11 News.